So today, we're going to be doing a unit review on this new Gohan. He's crazy. I've had very minimal usage on him. Not going to lie to you guys. I've only got to use him a little bit yesterday, but he's crazy. I also did get the Broly. I didn't get to use the Broly as much as I used the Gohan because, you know, Gohan is... I'm going to be honest, I think Gohan is cooler. But, bro, this Gohan is like... Yo, between the trio and this Gohan, they bro crazy card like bananas card and the standby that just can we do you want to talk about a nuclear bomb <laughs> um anyways okay so we're talking about uh this super saiyan gohan uh okay <laughs> with his uh entire kit how he performs in today's meta obviously uh, spoiler alert he's possibly the best unit in the game depending on who you talk to uh so this go on oh so, oh by the way i want to go ahead and real quick say i'm either going to be randomly pick, picking units from like my little tier list that i made well it's not really a tier list but it's like a little graph i made i'm gonna be either be randomly picking units from this little graph that i feel like talking about or i'm gonna go ahead and just talk about like newer units i'm gonna go either route it don't really matter i'm most likely gonna prioritize all the newer units and then go ahead and move backwards down to the like the older units because you know i feel like it's gonna be a bit easier going that way like if a new dokkan fest is like released like you know two weeks from now or for whatever reason uh i'll just talk about that card to get out the way and then continue on now with that being said this gohan his leader skill is three key and 200 percent across the board to kamehameha and his 12 key, that being the Masenko, he gets 50% attack and 30% defense for one turn while doing colossal damage and having a 50% chance to stun the enemy. So he does have stun chance, gets an attack and defensive buff in his 12 key, good. His 18 key, the super explosive wave, he gets 50% attack and 30% defense for one turn while doing mega colossal damage to the enemy and raising super class allies defense by 50% for one turn. I do love that he's supporting inside his 18 key. I love LRs that support inside of their super attack effects. I just love, love love now with that being said <clears throat> that this card does have good super attack effects by the way he's getting attack defensive buff in both of his super attack effects um anyways while having stun chance and supporting the rotation okay so he starts out with five key and 200 percent attack and defense at the start of the turn very nice and he gets two key and 40 percent attack up to 200 percent and 30 percent defense up to 150 percent defense with each attack performed so he builds up an attack defense above as well as him getting key and he also gets 77 percent attack when performing a super attack within the same turn and he also launches an additional attack that has a 70% chance to become a super attack when his key is 18 or more. So you just have to get to his 18 key and he's easily rewarded. And when his key is 24, he gets an additional 58% attack and he does a guaranteed super. And if HP is 77% or more, he's effective against all types. Uh, <laughs> so I, bro, I love when Dokkan rewards cards for getting above they're 18 key. I love when they reward cards for just being at max key. I love that. I love that. That's the whole reason I love LR Team Turtles, by the way. I'm pretty sure that card will gets rewarded for getting to a 24 key, right? I believe so. Uh, anyways. <laughs> okay, so when there is another Kamehameha or Earth Red Fighters category ally attack in the same turn, this card gets two key and guards. And if HP is 77% or less when receiving an attack, this card has a 50% chance to dodge. So... Uh, where do I even begin? Before I go ahead and get on over to the standby, where do I even begin with this card? So, this card is, in all practicality, you're definitely going to be running a Kamehameha category ally right next to this card. Because, I mean, he is a Kamehameha 200% leader skill. So, this card is very easily going to be sitting with, of course, key and guard. And if you're, of course, below the HP dash show, you're going to be getting that 50% chance to dodge. I do like the fact that this card has two defensive abilities to fall back on, that being dodge chance when you're below the HP threshold, and guard chance, well not guard chance, guard when you're, <laughs> when you just have the ally attack in the same turn, excuse me guys. <laughs> uh, anyways, this card also has additional super attack chance built into him, as well as a guaranteed super built into him, that being additional super attack chance when you're at the 18 key or more threshold, as well as a guaranteed super built into him, as well as an additional attack buff when you are at the, uh, the, the what's that, that's the... 24 key threshold as well as a effective against all types when you're at the 77% or more HP threshold. And this card also gets attack when performing super attack. Obviously, I 
would say I would like if this card got 77% attack and defense, just to, you know, even it out, just like to say, that, hey, this card's getting attack and defensive up from his path to a super attack type, but hey, it's... It's all right, right? So in the fact, this card does build up attack and defense each attack performed. And that's directly supported by this card being able to get a guaranteed super off as well as additional super attack chance off when this card just gets above its key threshold. I absolutely love that. This card stands by for five turns during which seven Dragon Balls appear and the charge count increases by one key sphere obtained, of course, by allies and by an additional four per Dragon Ball obtained by allies and of course can be activated with hp 77 percent or less or starting from the third turn from the start of battle for entry turn not battle i am too used to reading it from the start of battle <laughs> there's just certain words like i've read so many cards and i'm just like used to seeing cards that just just with the specific wording and it's just when it's different it completely throws me off excuse me guys um, so this card's link set is Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Prepared Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Uh, is there any links that this card is missing? I would probably say no. Could this card have Cold Judgment or the Saiyan Lineage? Just not. This card definitely got the Saiyan Lineage over Saiyan Warrior Race. Like, the Saiyan Warrior Race is such an ass link. I mean, sure, it's going to help this card hit harder. Yeah, definitely the same Warrior Race. The card could, could definitely get it. And Golden Warrior, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Golden Warrior makes sense. Because, you know, it's the Super Saiyan Gohan. But same Warrior Race could definitely be replaced for the same Lineage. No, Dogon? No? Whatever. Hey, you guys make the game. And these categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Full Power, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, Super Saiyans, Kamehameha, Saviors, Defenders of Justice, Bond of Parent Child, Earth Red Fighters, and Power of Wishes. Now, moving on over to his standby. This card is, uh, of course, having no super attack effects. This card is unable to attack except when finish effect is activated and gets 77% attack per super attack ally attacking in the same turn. And if there's an allies attacking in the same turn or super class, this card gets 77% damage reduction. You're obviously going to have super class allies right next to this guy. So it's going to be very very easy to proc just free attack as well as a free 77 percent damage reduction and this card gets 50 percent defense when receiving an attack per keys are obtained just bananas guard as well as 258 percent attack when finish effect is activated um what what what, what do i even say i mean with the, the finish attack that's it's just gonna hit like you guys know the meme with the uh, the nuclear bomb versus a coughing baby. This is literally like, <laughs> like, come on, man. So not only is this card going to be letting off a a, a nuclear missile, this card has seventy seven percent damage reduction with guard. What is killing this card? What is killing this card? Now, granted, I've only used this card not I didn't use this card a lot yesterday. I'm gonna admit that. So if anybody wants to correct me down below. Feel free, I don't mind being corrected. But what is killing this card? Guard with 77% damage reduction, as well as 50% defense when receiving an attack for key strip taking. Like, what? What? And then you let off the finish attack? And then I, I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. It's like, it's bananas, bro. And then Kamehameha is changed for what? What's that? All in the family? Ah, yeah, all in the family. That's right. So no cold judgment. Yeah, no, no cold judgment. Definitely just keep keep it all in the family and just add the same warrior race. Not same warrior race. Oh my god. Uh, the same lineage. I'm having crazy brain farts today. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I haven't done a unit review in about three weeks, so this is gonna be a little bit of a botched one. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, is there uh, any problems with this guard? I would probably point out. Um. Due to me having a lack of usage with this card, I'm definitely going to use this card much more today since I'm going to have more time to use him. I would probably say, would, no, yeah, no, would him not, probably no key for keys for pain, but even then he gets key. Is he building up key indefinitely? No. Two key? No, no way. Is he? He's not, he's not, he's not. Uh, there's no way. Yeah, um... Is there a problem with this card? I don't think there's an issue with this card. Because on the defensive end, he has guard. And if he falls below the HP threshold, he gets a 50% chance to dodge. So he's fine on the, on the defensive uh, ability like side of things. 
Uh, and then on the offensive side of things, he's, of course, well, he's building up attack and defense per attack performed. He has additional super attack chance here. He has a guaranteed super as well as a feather being assault type right here, as well as more attack right there. And of course, more attack and performing super attack right here. This guy does a lot of damn damage, doesn't he? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I gotta use this card a bit more. Yo. <laughs> listen, listen. Scarlet and Val for like a day. Okay, give me give me a little bit of slack, and then you go into the standby, and it's just like, this is just so crazy. This is just, it's it's so easy to get, right? Is isn't it so easy to get? Because all you have to do is fall below the HP threshold, or start from the third turn for something like what third turn? Third turn, guys. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and um. Take a look at his 200%. He just goes that he's on. Uh, how does this guy work for today's meta? You can answer that question. When I'm talking about these cards, like cards that come out in today's meta, that being like the little Supreme Battle Spectacle slash, I don't even know the coin today's meta. I don't even know. Let's just call it the 200%. He just goes slash Supreme Battle Spectacle. I got to go back to the drawing board and like think of like a name for what meta we're in. What do we call this meta? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, probably think of something to call it uh i mean but like i said before in that little meta video i did not come up with those matters no nope. no nope. i just saw it typed it out i promise you it's just something i thought of right that's not my coinings <laughs> so i'm pretty certain that someone out there has done a uh, like a little meta coining thing i just go ahead and go off of what i've seen from like you know playing the game and looking at dokkan wiki for fucking hours on end Anyway, so it's 200% leader skills. What is he on? Uh, let's see. This guy's on, what's that? It's 10, 200% leader skills. Uh, okay. Um, where you're going to be going bananas with this card on is definitely this card. Right? The Broly movie trio. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Um, best Lincoln partner. What are we looking like here? Uh, um, hell no. Uh, okay. I mean, you can manage to get this out. Cool. But probably not. I mean, you could. Uh, no, no, no no obviously no i mean maybe maybe no 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 hell no no hell no absolutely fucking not keep it real i definitely did a unit review on you i gotta find you yo i really gotta sit on the live stream and look at units i've done unit reviews on um and yes this is their best link partner yes 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 and then beast beast and then him yeah beast and him but his only thing is that you can't get beast on his 200 percent least skill could you you can't he's not beast 200 percent least skill anyways uh so that's his best link partner is definitely gonna be them the trio yes how many links are they sharing um that's a total of uh what's that that's six links and they're getting three key and 65 percent attack and five percent defense and debuff enemies defense by 10 percent um yeah that's gonna be that uh so great in today's meta on 10 200 percent leader skills have a possibly the first or second best unit in the game as their best link opponent right next to them uh just crazy strong two-way god um based off of the usage i used of him yesterday uh i mean standby defensively amazing attack turns the boss into fish pace Right? I didn't even get to read what the finished attacks for all of them are. Uh, so finished attack, Kamehameha, raises attack by 15% per, uh, what's that, temporarily per charge count. This is typical for these these finished attacks. Can be activated charge counts at 34. And then you have the pretty much the same thing, but then super ultimate damage. So it's ultimate damage for this finished attack, super ultimate damage for this attack. And then you, know, you get on over to the, what's that, 35 more with 7 more Dragon Balls. And then, you know, you get super ultimate attack with a feather soul types. I think that's about it. Did I miss anything for my unit reviews? The only thing I missed in this video, I'm pretty sure, is... Uh, and, of course, the, the, when they came out is... They literally came out yesterday. September 14th of 2024. That was yesterday. That, that I just... I have little usage on this card. I gotta use this card today, okay? Listen, just like I gotta use the Broly. Broly's getting a video tomorrow. So, I'm gonna be way more prepared to talk about Broly than I am to talk about these guys. Because I, I don't have... I mean, I have more usage with these guys than, than Broly. But... That doesn't misuse it. But yeah, um, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next video. And I love you all. You guys are the greatest. Unit reviews. It's going to be a little sloppy. 
for for like a couple of unit reviews. I'm sorry, guys. But hey, they're back. They're back daily. I mean, they're not going nowhere unless I say so. That's why I say join the 24-7 Discord server so I can give updates on when I'm not going to be uploading, you know, and uh, when I'm going to be doing uploads. Because sometimes I say like, oh, I'm doing a triple upload. Or sometimes I'm doing like a double upload, which I'm doing a dub double upload daily now. Um, or sometimes I'm saying I'm not going to upload on this day. But uh, yeah, um, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. You guys are the greatest. Again, oh my God, I'm stalling. Peace.